A messed up drive through order leads to a U-turn, which leads to road rage, which leads one man shot and two more in jail now tonight, accused of attempted murder. Tonight, a rich and I learned that state troopers heard that shooting and quickly arrested the suspects. A couple of state troopers were sitting in their cars in the parking lot at Jimmy John's across the street Friday night when they heard gunfire. Those gunshots were coming from the other side of Shadeland Avenue over here just outside the McDonald's. The three people in this green Ford Taurus told police they had just left the McDonald's drive through near 21st and Shadeland. They realized they didn't get what they ordered and did a U-turn at this nearby intersection. Two men in a black Ford Taurus escaped behind them apparently didn't care for that and yelled at them. The Taurus stopped, backed up, and an argument escalated. Well, it appears we have another case of, of road rage that, that escalates within seconds to deadly violence. Something happened driving on the road that led to an altercation that quickly escalated to gunfire and somebody getting shot. A passenger in the escape allegedly fired shots as the Taurus drove away. The driver was hit in the back. The Taurus stopped at McDonald's and more shots were fired. The driver who was shot allegedly fired shots back at the escape after he was hit. Targeted violence during a road rage like this not only puts the people involved in the road rage at risk, but think about 8 o'clock in the evening, a very, very busy area in the parking lot of a very busy restaurant. In that moment, dozens, if not more, lives were put on the line. You can clearly see the bullet holes in the Taurus. State police say they quickly located the Ford Escape and a gun a half mile away. The driver and passenger were arrested for attempted murder. Investigators were back at the scene Monday collecting more evidence. In Indianapolis, Rich Knight, 13 News. The two men arrested are now scheduled to appear in court Tuesday afternoon for an initial hearing. The man shot, we're told, is now out of the hospital.